Hey, I'm Tammy Carr. I'm Jeremy Carr. We are Trucking, Trucking with, with the, the cars. cars. Today we're going to talk about shoulder pain, uh, specifically caused by driving. We do have a previous video that we showed a, an exercise to help alleviate that pain. So this is kind of going to be a part two. Yeah, we wanted to uh, talk about how to uh, help drivers drive longer without fatigue. Now, babe, what is the first thing that fatigues when you're driving? For me personally, my arse. Your butt? Your <laughs> my butt. butt. <laughs> hey, well, I guess that's a video for a different day. Yeah. Hey, this time I wanted to focus, we wanted to focus on our shoulders, how yeah. fatigue can set in and what to do to alleviate it, fix it. Hey, so we wanted to show you what we can do outside the truck for some uh, exercise for our posture and our shoulder pain. Uh, the goal is to keep our uh, rotator cuff strong to uh, pull back our shoulders again because gravity eventually is going to give in and we'll have uh, internal rotation. The more we push, carry things, lift up, we're getting everything's coming this way. Again, we need to retract. The more we retract our back, the more we can hold that posture, even under gravity's tension. Uh, so we know that uh, internal rotation with, with this part of the arm, let go. When, uh, this is obviously internal ro rotating, but when we go out, you know, we keep this still. When we go out, that causes uh, external rotation, opening, kind of an opening for those. Uh, tendons that go through here creating space relieving the pain so an exercise you can do is you all know the pitching you see a lot of pitchers do this exercises you know because their rotator cuff gets so uh, when they come this way it gets so under pressure there this part is nice but of course when you come this way it closes the gap and then you got that tension so when you you can feel the tension of the band you, and instantly you'll feel your muscles uh, react, you know, and flex. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Versus letting it go. No, don't step yet. Versus letting it go. You feel that? Now yeah. bring it out. You see everything kind of contracts. You can start with there by just holding it and, and get used to the feeling of it. Now, when you advance a little harder, you keep this held and you take a nice step that way. You see it wants to give in, but don't Whoa. let it. Yeah. I gotta yeah. release yeah, keep the tension your, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, keep your elbow tight. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, I step. feel it. Step. Uh oh, something's happening. Oh, Wiley. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, I'll go. Now keep that tension. Ooh, take, a little, take a smaller step. It's burning. That's tiny. It's burning. Okay. Well, I'm already burning. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? A step, half a step, and back. Okay. You can do that to start, depending on how bad your pain is. When you advance and you start getting stronger in your scapula area back here, you can take a bigger step. You ready? Hold that oh tight. Oh my lord. Hold it. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hold it, hold it. I can't. Ah! Okay, well, maybe not so big. Go step back, okay. Ready? Oh my gosh. Okay. Holy cow. So, one more and then you can advance. Of course, you can not go anywhere and just do this. That's the classic one, but I'll show you that one in the truck, in the driver's seat. Now, one you can do, like a, uh, this is internal rotation, and it's kind of like a, pulling out a sword, and you're holding that, it's another way to strengthen it. You can hold it. You could have it up here like this, when you advance even more, and take a step out, and keep that thing held. Ugh. Super advanced. Anyway, we'll show you what to do in the truck, all right? All right. Hey, driver, so it's a fact. We get driving down the road for hours. Gravity will eventually pull our shoulders forward. Our posture eventually will kind of start giving in to that, uh, to gravity, making our shoulders kind of internally rotate. And then we're, we're up like this, which causes, like I said, that one, and I, and I meant to say that one main su supraspinatus, a tendon that comes through it gets pinched there so you can grab a band if you find a band don't be afraid to cut it to size you know because we want to use it for what we need it for uh, I'll put it up here 
And remember, like I said about the pitching, uh, you know, this feels great. You know, when, when we did some videos prior that Tammy was showing, you know, why it feels so good to stretch in the morning and uh, uh, certain exercises we did for that. Um, so this is like a, think about pitching, throwing a pitch. This part's the best part of it. So you grab a band, you, you, you just put your hand over it to lock it in. I kind of push my shoulders down, you know, and create that... Uh, flex and that con contraction of your uh, rotator cuff muscles and then I just act like I'm throwing a pitch and I control it on the way down like you can hold you can control on the way down hold control I even can do it this side without the window hitting give it a little tension here contract down throw a left-handed pitch if Hold, throw a pitch. You know, the ball's in your hand, pull it back, pull the ball back first. Everything else will follow and you'll feel that contraction. You control on the way down. Then you can move down here where you lock it in. And you can do this uh, movement Tammy was showing you earlier. It even works going this way, even with the window. Remember to hold. Come back. All right, I hope that helps uh, you relieve pain and keep pain from happening in the seat. Hey, fellow travelers, hope this helps and you can find some use for it. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and we'll see you with some more videos.